Hello everyone, welcome, happy new year, we are still in the celebration of the new year. Happy new year, happy new year. Welcome to another edition of Rob City of Unity. Today is Tuesday 3rd of January 2023 and today's topic is Fit Our Lifestyle in the Kingdom. Praise the Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we give you all the praise. I appreciate you. We thank you for waking us up here there and strong. Thank you for the gift of life. We are not taking it for granted. We are gathered this morning to study your word because your word is all we need. And as we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rap Study of Realities. And today the topic is Faith and Lifestyle in the Kingdom. Romans 1 verse 17 says, For then is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Praise to God. That's Romans 1 verse 17. In the kingdom of God where we live, faith is our lifestyle. It isn't something we try to acquire. It is inherent in us. It came to us in the gospel. So the faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 17. Romans 12 3 says, God had death to every man the measure of faith. Therefore, to live triumphantly in the kingdom, you must put your faith to work. Failure to grow and exercise that faith is one of the reasons many Christians suffer for a long time. Rather than hurting like hurting their feet, they are more focused on their condition, complaining bitterly about what they are going through. That is not the way to function in the kingdom of God. What you must understand is that God has given you authority and power in the Holy Spirit to effect changes. It only takes you out of the world, and that is what faith is. Through faith, we activate the blessings and provision of Christ made available to us in the gospel. It is the reason Jesus taught the message of faith to the people in his days. But being born again, we are creatures of faith. Faith is our lifestyle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Faith our lifestyle in the kingdom. This topic is so important as we walk through this new year because only faith can produce the results you are, you are waiting for. Yes, faith. You have to grow your faith. And how do you grow your faith? It's by studying the word of God. Yes, getting to know God is, know His power. Yes, and the power that He has given to you. This will build your faith up. Hallelujah. Faith is what you need. Whatever your desire, whatever your heart desire is, is by faith. It's through faith. Yes, see things are do the way. Yes. Call things forth with your faith. Hallelujah. There's no need telling people your problem or holding pity party. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. I'm telling you, nothing will cha change all, all except you get yourself up and use the authority in the name of Jesus. That is how you win. He said, I've given you everything in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. What is on this earth and things in heaven? Hallelujah. You don't only command things on this earth, you also can command things from heaven. Wow. This is who we are. This is why. This is the lifestyle as a born again Christian that you should live. Praise to the Lord. So, with that being said, let's take the confessions together. I have the mindset of possibilities and victory solely. I pray and encourage. Things that the physical senses can perceive, but are revealed in God's world. My God-given vision, idea, target, or dream is possible 
because I live by faith in God's word. I am living in the spiritual realities of our divine kingdom, in absolute prosperity and unending success. Glory to God. For that study, you can look at Luke 17, verse 6, Hebrew 11, verse 1, and Romans 10, verse 17. When your Bible read the plan, Matthew 3 and Genesis 6 to 8. To your Bible read the plan, Matthew 2, verse 1 to 12, and Genesis 3. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. What a wonderful topic. Build your feet. Hallelujah. How to put your feet to work. Praise the Lord. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. What are you waiting for? There's an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe you died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child. Lord. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible. Yes, you have to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith-filled messages for strength, and look for a believing church and worship there as well. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful time we had this morning. Have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not done so, please do so. And on your notification bell, so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be first to notify. Hallelujah, praise to the Lord. And on Facebook, follow me at Flora Cooking Channel called Flora Beauty. Flora Beauty. I forgot that I changed the name. Sorry. Follow me at Flora Beauty. Yes, on Facebook. God oh, bless you. As it is. So please, when you come back on this video, share, 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 share. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you for your word. We thank you as we put our feet to use this morning. Yes. Father, we thank you for giving us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Thank you for giving us victory over this world and the system. Yes, system has are put under pressure for our sake today. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. You have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. Have a beautiful one. God bless you. Bye.